Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to register for the Cornwall and Isles of Scilly End of Life Learning Path on eLearning for Health. Open Google and search for ELFH. Click on ELFH Hub. On the eLearning for Health homepage, click Register. To begin the registration process, enter your work email address into the email address fields. Click Register. Access to eLearning for Health content is available to NHS staff as well as hospice, care home and social care staff. If you entered a non-NHS email address, you will be asked to provide additional information about yourself and your employer. In some cases, you will need to provide a workplace registration code. You may need to ask your employer for this code. If your employer does not have a code, they will need to contact the eLearning for Health support team who will provide a registration code. Access is also available via the NHS Open Athens system. Next, you'll need to complete your registration details. In the first section, enter your first name, last name, country and region. In the next section, select the option that best describes your current job role, your grade and your primary speciality. Depending on the job role you select, you may be asked to enter your professional body ID number, for example, your NMC or GMC number. In the final section, enter an approximate date for when you started your current role. Then select your place of work by entering the site name or postcode. At the bottom of the page, click Register. You'll now be presented with a list of programmes. For our purposes, you'll only need to select End of Life Care, ELCA. Once selected, click Save Changes at the bottom of the page. This section of the registration is completed. You will now need to open your email account to get your username and set your password. In your email account, Look for the message with the subject Registration Confirmation. Open the email to find your username, then click the link below to set your password. At the Password Maintenance screen, enter and confirm a new password for eLearning for Health. The password must be at least 8 characters long and contain at least one numeric, one capital and one lowercase character. Click Change Password. When the password has been changed, click the link to log on. Enter your username found in your email and your newly set password. Click Login. Next, read and accept the terms and conditions for using the system. You'll now need to select and enter answers to two security questions. These questions will be used to help you reset your eLearning for Health password should you forget it in the future. When the questions have been set up, click Save Security Questions. Next, you'll need to confirm your job role. If all the details are correct, click Existing Details Correct. Confirm your personal details, then click Existing Details Correct. In the final screen, click Complete Registration to be logged into eLearning for Health. When you enter the home page, clear the notification saying you have messages waiting and click on the End of Life Care icon. Click on Learning Paths Organisations, then select ELCA Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly Learning Path. Now that you've been presented with a list of modules, you can click play next to any of the modules to work through the learning material. The first option, Cornwall and Silly Isles Passport, gives you an introduction and overview of the course. Click play next to the module. Click open to open the PDF and then if prompted, 
click Allow to give your permission to open the PDF file. Returning to the list of modules, click Play next to any of the headings. Navigate through the module by clicking next at the top of the window. You can also use the menu button to navigate backward and forward through the sections. When you reach the end of the session, the Session Summary section will contain a button to complete the session. Click the button to mark the session as complete, then click the Certificate button to view your completion certificate. To print it, click Print at the top of the window. Your certificate can then be filed with your learning passport. To access more e-learning content from the e-learning for health system, click the full catalog link at the top of the page. Scroll through and select a session to learn more.